If hundreds of students packed the gymnasium of Rockland High School to hear a presentation about the dangers of fentanyl. Among the speakers was San Francisco Giant star pitcher Logan Webb. Yeah, he shared a very personal story of loss, and ABC 10's Bridget Buyorlo had a chance to speak to him about the emotional topic. Our Giants pitcher Logan Webb attended high school here at Rockland High, so he has strong ties to the area, strong affection for the community, and he wants students here to know that one pill can kill. It's really scary what's going on. Warnings of fentanyl poisoning are messages San Francisco pitcher Logan Webb wishes he heard a little sooner. So he could tell his cousin Cade to not take a chance on a counterfeit pill. His smile would light up the room. Um, just him smiling and laughing got the whole room to smile and laugh. And I miss that. Uh, I miss that a lot. Kay died last December, two days shy of Logan's wedding. And though he couldn't save Cade before he took a single pill laced with fentanyl, he hopes to keep others like him alive. By speaking before his old high school in Rockland, urging teens to say no to experimenting with dangerous drugs. I want kids to know that they, not even kids, I want everybody to know that, you know, one of those pills can can cause so much damage and it's not just to you, it's to your entire family and community. Hoping his family's tragedy can serve as a lesson for others to shield them from a similar pain. It's, it's just really sad to, to know that people are dealing with this all the time and, 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 and I know that the person and kid that Cade was and not for him to not be able to, to, to grow old and to, to have his be with his daughter or be with his girlfriend. It's really sad. Yeah, a powerful story. The person who sold Kate the fentanyl lace pill faces three felony counts for murder and purchasing a narcotic for sale. He pleaded not guilty and is being held without bail.